Hey guys, how are you all this week? Um, it's been a long week for me, but this week I'd like to send a shout out to TJ. Miss you, buddy. And maybe another one to Calvin. Saw him today, but I don't think he noticed me. Good to see you, buddy. Today, this week, I'm going to talk to you guys about gentleness. And the dictionary defines gentleness as the quality of being kind, tender, or mild-mannered. The second definition is softness of action or effect, lightness. And the third is a courteous or chivalrous, you know, gentlemanly act quality attributed to noble birth. I'm going to give you a couple scriptures here and then I'll talk to you a bit about gentleness. First off, I'd like to show you a, share a verse from Proverbs. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Another one from Colossians is, Be wise in the way you act towards outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Another one from Romans says, Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, making up... Make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of a brother or sister. Another one from Hebrews says, Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Imagine that. You could be showing someone hospitality or being nice to them and gentle with them, and you could actually be talking to an angel. Imagine that. John says, Very truly, I tell you, whoever accepts anyone accepts i send accepts me and whoever accepts me accepts the one who, who sent me another one from Ze zechariah says this is what the lord almighty said administer true justice show mercy and compassion to one another do not oppress the widow or the fatherless the foreigner or the poor do not plot evil against each other and the last two i've got is one from leviticus it says do not hate fe a fellow person in your heart rebuke your neighbor frankly so that you will not share in their guilt do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone among your people but love your neighbor as yourself i am the lord galatians says there is therefore as we have opportunity let us do good to all people especially those who belong to the family of believers so to be gentle is really just to show goodness to other people it's to be patient and take your time and giving answers and 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 not overreacting to a situation and i have done that many a time myself where i've overreacted but i'm finding that as i grow with christ i'm learning to be a little more patient and a little more understanding um i'm going to give you seven steps that will help you to be more gentle as I think gentleness is probably the most important thing that we can be. Um, I can honestly say that when it comes to, you know, a lot of people think to be strong, you need to be, um, you need to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? That you need to be strong and physical and, and mean and brutal with people. But really, I think true strength is gentleness. It's showing passion and compassion to others when when we just don't have anything left to give. But here's seven steps that might help you. Number one, be conscious of your feelings. So always understand how you're feeling in a moment. Number two, use the space between the action and your response to allow time to come up with a, a patient and kind response. Another, the third step would be allow yourself to care about somebody else and their feelings. The next step would be to take your focus deeper or your yourself into a deeper space to understand where they're coming from. The next one would be to decide what you're going to do about the situation before you act. Therefore, giving yourself time to decide whether that action is a good one or not. I'd also say that you should follow up with anyone else that might be affected by these situations or decisions. And last but not least, record your experiences. In other words, remember them. Keep them in your mind so that you're always conscious of what happened when you made that decision rashly or even in gentleness so that you don't make a mistake the next time if you made one the first time. 
Um, I think also it comes, gentleness comes with being humble as well. But I think that's all I got for you guys this week. I think Jenny would like to say hello. So uh, here, she can say hi. Hey guys, it's been a while. I miss you all. And if I find out any of you have been bad, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have problems. We're gonna have to have a chat. But keep in mind, I love you all. Well guys, you got to hear from Jenny. Apparently she's still mean, even though I just <laughs> talked about gentleness. I want you all to know that I miss you very much and I'm glad to see you when I get the opportunity and I hope to see you all again very soon. I love each and every one of you. Talk to you soon. God bless.